So you might think that's positive, sitting around pondering on how to not experience a vulnerable situation or something that's wrong. But it's the, the universe don't understand words. It only understands the vibrations that you're giving it. So you're still giving it the negative annotation. So it's only going to bring more of that in your life. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind also. Now, due to the fact of the full moon being in goddamn Taurus, it's also going to be opposite goddamn Mercury and Venus. So the depositor of Venus is going to be in the moon, right? And the exaltation of the moon is going to be in that sign. So that means that the way that love is going to be perceived or expressed may be in a very negative way that could destroy you. So make sure you don't let the things that you love destroy you or the things that you would do for it destroy you to a certain magnitude. Pardon me. Because it, it can happen during this particular time. And you know, anytime we're dealing with a full moon, it's time to chill out. And full moons, shout out Kabaka. And, and Bobby B. Uh, Blunt 2.2. 2.0. <laughs> Bobby Boucher, Bobby Brown, Charlie Brown hair face. But when it comes into the moon, right? When it's full, we're going to be experiencing this energy of being fulfilled or unfulfilled. Anytime that you're unfulfilled, that means you weren't planting the right seeds. So once the moon become full, there's going to be people, places, and things and abilities that you have that you're going to feel limited to. Shout out to Mac Dang, Jason Abbott, Lone Char, Miss Keita. You're going to be limited to certain things. <coughs> And you may go out your way to you may go out to go out your way to get these things. Now, for the most part, when you're going through these experiences to go out your way to get these things, and they can be down to a pack of annihilators. Just because you desire annihilators at that time, you're participating into the shadow government world. Because they built the world off desires. So you're already gonna be wrapped up under the current amongst a lot of demons who don't know if they're coming and going anyway. That's why it's good to drive for yourself and others and be spiritual for yourself and others. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing: you might feel unfulfilled. And the reason you feel unfulfilled, because that means, or it's going to be an example of you planting bad seeds. So if you ain't know that you planted bad seeds, then for the most part, that's why you may be experiencing being unfulfilled. And you may go out your way to get whatever thing that you have to get to not feel unfulfilled anymore. But in the meantime, you going through that experience of going to get these things, something may happen that goes against your favor. Due to the fact of you being washed up under the current at the moment because you weren't planting the right seeds. And you're presenting yourself within the universe, making yourself vulnerable to experience all things that deal with the full moon. And when we talk about the full moon being in Taurus specifically, this is going to be an extreme, unstable scenario. So whatever that you go out and get based upon your level of, on a percentage scale of being unstable or being unfulfilled. Whatever that you go out and do may take you 10 steps backwards and put you in an extreme unstable scenario to the point that you're going to have to scrape the ground. You have to grab towards the roaches. And what do I actually mean by that? AKA, it's going to be a time that you have to be extremely stingy. It's going to be a time that you have to be extremely uh, downing on yourself because you know you made a mistake and you allowed yourself to get taken advantage of. It's going to be a time that you feel extremely unstable. Well, unstableness, that's what I said. But to the forms of the degree, degree that you may not feel like you're going to be able to pay your bills or you're not be going to be able to be supported or be able to support the way that you was doing in some way, shape, or form due to the fact of whatever you start to participate with via person, place, or thing when you start to feel unfulfilled. So be careful during these particular times, especially right now, because you still got a chance to do what the fuck that you're supposed to do before the moon actually gets full. And once the moon actually gets full, it's time for protection spells. Once the moon go whining, right, that's time for you to go ahead and protect everything you have accumulated, whether it's an idea or whether it's something you have already accumulated and materialized and manifested. So that's going to be the time that you start to practice protection spells. Now, since you don't like the word spells, just come up with ideas and feelings and actions on how to protect what you have already accumulated. Whether it's coming up with ideas of how to save if it's money, whether it's coming up with ideas on how to organize and keep things clean, whether it's objects or like clothes or like things like crystals and gems and shit like that for your spiritual natures, or whether it's physically and things of that nature. Make sure that you're creating ideas if you don't like the word spell, because it's the same thing. Witchcraft was on your mind ritual and spell practicing that faith witchcraft what works doing with your actual body so we all doing the same thing so it ain't what you do is how you do it now if you do it in a religious fashion you're doing it in a demonic way and that demon that you're following that like to be called god that got you in a legion sometimes the things that they like and dislike of the worlds have no issue have 
nothing to do with your likes and dislikes. And you might keep following that demon to the point it'll convince you to get lost by a Jesuit argument to convince you that it's okay for this God to kill babies and things of that nature or create slavery and shit like that. And you know deep down spiritually that's not right. So for the most part, you know those are the first signs of being lied to when you start to use logic to convince others that that means something else or something to have rulership over something else can do whatever it wants with it. So what kind of spirit you have So you, because you don't question it, we have to question you now. What kind of animals and how you treat your family? And nine times out of ten, if you're an adult and you're in that kind of religion and you got kids, I, I'm pretty sure they don't like your characteristics in some way shape or form and they did some small portions of rebellious rebellious energy whether they did it on a high magnitude or not based upon a level of respect other than that you bear the fruit that you wear any word that you're utilizing in your mind and make it seem like the world just don't understand even when it comes to your own blood it's just that demon lying to you and demons love being called god so you better become a spiritual adult and stop being childish in the spirit now look check this out like i said but getting into these energies full moon and goddamn taurus we all going to feel unfulfilled so if you want to feel fulfilled right now you need to be creating attributes when it comes to your holy table if you're or if you're not into spell or spirituality you know get things organized as far as like it could be things simple clean your house clean your room so you can have a clear space around your surroundings where you get your creativity at anytime you got a cloudy space in that area where your creativity is supposed to be flourishing at this is where you get writer's block this is where you get limited a lot of times when you are music artists and you're already in the music industry and you appear to a lot of these studios that have already been paid for a lot of times you, you lose inspiration not just because people talking too much just for the simple fact there's too much energy going on and that's dirtying up the room you know what I'm saying? The mind is dirty. So for the most part, all of these things are forms and substances. Train of thought. Thought forms. So these are forms. So we're supposed to be spiritual adults enough to understand how to be in control of our what we're responsible for, our children, outside of our minds and what we actually give birth to. And outside of our mind could be our businesses, our babies. That's what we call our babies also. So that's like Greek mythology. And if you want to understand that anthropomorphized concept of, you know, talking about Saturn giving children outside of the head. This is an allegory of us giving children to our creative gifts and things of that nature. And we could build on these things. You know what I'm saying? Now, at the same time, so it could be anything uh, during this particular time that you need to stabilize, right? And once you get these things stabilized, you won't feel unfulfilled. You'll feel fulfilled. Even if you have things in front of you that you might feel like, damn, I can have more. God, why you ain't give me more? Or why did not I present myself more? Don't dive into those energies. You're going to start to just manifest that unfulfilled energy in your life. Even if you got everything you need, all the support, all the people telling you, you don't need these things. Your spiritual mouth going to become bigger than your spiritual stomach. And now you're becoming too spiritual greedy. And then you're going to get what you signed for, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because your ass should have sat the fuck down. You had everything you fucking need. You were just being motherfucking too fucking greedy. And your spirit, but beneath this veil, with your first body, your spaceship, you was a pig at the moment. You created a pig. And people was around you, kind of seen beneath the veil, based upon your actions, they seen that. And you wasn't trying to hear it because you were still being a fucking hog. Like if every day was 4th of July, eating up all the hamburgers and hot dogs, esoterically speaking. And then now your esoteric stomach hurt. One to a third dimension. Experiencing a circumstance that didn't go in your favor. A.K.A. full moon and Taurus, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You know what I'm saying?